In our national lead, the writers and actors strike that has ground Hollywood production to a halt for months drags on. The actor union, sag after joined the Writers Guild of America strike in July, and many of the same issues that drove writers to strike are also shared by actors. The demand for a fair working wage and job protections as streaming has upended the entertainment industry. And joining me now to discuss is two-time Tony and six-time Emmy Award-winning actor Brian Cranston, a friend of the show, I think it's fair to say. Brian, thanks for joining us. Um, are you encouraged at all that major studios are set to resume talks with the Writers Guild? And where do talks stand uh, with SAG after the Actors Guild? And, and do actors want a seat at that table? Oh, we certainly do. Uh, thanks for having me, Jake. Good to see you again. Um, the writers have been out for almost or around four months, the actors for two. Uh, it's always a good sign when you're invited to, to get back to the negotiating table. As far as the after SAG end of it, we've been asking the AMPTP to be a part of these negotiations and to come back to the table. And thus far, they have uh, refused to accept that invitation. Um, we, we try not to be pessimistic about that. Uh, our sister union, uh, Writers Guild of America, they are uh, going back apparently next week, and it's hopeful. I mean, anytime you're actually sitting at the table, something can happen. If you're not talking, nothing can happen. Yeah. Both the writers and the actors unions have visually been united, as demonstrated by a large joint rally in Los Angeles Wednesday. Do you think that unity is going to hold if, if one side reaches an agreement before the other? I hope it does. I, I, we, we are so related in, in our storytelling uh, uh, capacity that it, it, it does behoove us and helps each other uh, to stay united. I hope that we do. Um, we have uh, s some slight different issues uh, than the Writers Guild have, but for the most part, uh, I would say 75, 80 percent of their issues are also our issues as well. A lot of that has to do with how st streaming has upended uh, the, the business model on which so many careers uh, and lifestyles uh, were, were built, uh, the industry was built. Um, let me play this clip. This hopefully uh, can help us uh, and our audience understand some of this. This is from your friend and fellow Breaking Bad co-star actor Aaron, Ball, uh, Aaron Paul. Take a listen. Uh, shows uh, live, live forever on these streamers, and it goes through waves, you know. Um, and I mean, I just saw just the other day that Breaking Bad was trending on Netflix. I mean, it's just, it's such common sense, and I think a lot of these streamers, they know that they have been getting away with not paying people uh, just fair wage, and now it's time to, to pony up. So it, it might be tough for people to understand. Breaking Bad is airing on Netflix. It was originally on AMC. Now it's on Netflix. And actors aren't getting paid for it? Well, there, if you literally, figuratively, uh, you are getting paid. But the scale is so far below what we're used to. There used to be several different revenue streams for a working actor to coddle together to actually make a living. And you needed all of them to be able to do that. Well, th those have been whisked away. And um, what was called new media years ago, now uh, the streaming market, we know what it is. And we know that all the legacy studios have switched their entire business model to become part of that uh, contest, to be a leader in the streaming wars. And it has created a situation where the AMPTP is taking an old and outmodeled business model and coming up with their uh, contract offers according to that. Well, everything has changed. This business has changed uh, demonstrably. So we need to look at what are the new situations that we're dealing with? What are the new rules that we're playing by? and come up with uh, new agreements that, that uh, answer to that. There's also the simple fact that about five weeks ago, the New York Times did an expose on the, um, the rents in Los Angeles from 2000 to 2023. Uh, and they showed that rents in Los Angeles went up 
35% on average. At the same time, the in increase in pay went up only 6%. So it doesn't take a mathematician to realize that inflation has had a tremendous effect on the working actor. Yeah, and I know one of the other big sticking points is, for instance, on Netflix, you don't even know how many people are watching because Netflix does not share the data. That is one of the big sticking points for the writers and the actors let you know, because the ratings used to be the way that, that the right. networks would let uh, people know. You, it was all public, and that that information is now being guarded uh, That's true. in an unbelievable way. Brian Cranston, always good to see you. Thank you so much. Uh, Thanks, we Jake. all hope that this strike ends soon uh, and that living wages are, are paid. Thank you.